Hi and welcome back to the Craig's World. My name's Craig. Welcome to What Is My Madness. Today I'm back on Tigger again. Um, she's, I'm always on Tigger. Today it's a fuel filter. Uh, it's one thing that gets massively overlooked when people service the vehicles. One of the most important things to be fair. So I'll show you where it is on a Mark 7 Transit. And how easy it is you don't really need many tools but one thing that you will have to do is like a big cup when that fits in there's a big cup which fits over it you must fill that with diesel you, you can't have an airlock in it you that's the most important part when you screw that piece back on i'll show you when we're underneath the vehicle so I'll, I'll meet you under there okay on the mark 8 transit they are underneath and just behind the front, just behind the front wheel. So I've already unclipped it. That goes in there. So I've already just undone that. And literally it is just turn, it is to turn that, that way. So I'm just going to turn this one. Now just be aware of this. When I undo this, diesel will go everywhere. So if you want to put something down, a tub or something, it's entirely up to you, but you just turn it then anti-clockwise so that's all we're going to do As I said, it will go everywhere, if you can see that. Now I can actually see that how dirty that is. So... <clears throat> and as you see, it just unscrews. So you can see the state of that filter. I want to do this as quick as I can to compared to the new one.
Okay, that was a bit of a mission. I forgot how to do it. <laughs> so what you're going to do is when you take the big tub off, when you pull that down, this then unclips and pulls down. But as you can see, the state of how bad that is should have been changed a long time ago because they're supposed to be white and clean. So what you do is, to take it back off, is you put that, you fill the tub, the cowling, half full of diesel, you fit that into the cowling and lock it in, and then the entire thing goes straight up and locks into the van. But, as you can see how bad all the particles are on that. So, it did need changing. So that's how you change the fuel filter on a Mark Transit Mark 8. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I will see you on the next one.